What's going on guys? Smiling Dread 4 here and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. So, in the last session, we took on Seymour Flux, the third form of Seymour and his undead... I don't even know how to word it, but basically just fought him again and made it through Mount Gagazes to hear these... Not sure what you want to call them. Uh, let me see. I'm sure there's a map in here. Let's see, let's see. Map, 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 map. Come on, I know what the name is on my tongue. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, yeah, so the guy is at Mountain Cave, that was it. <laughs> Sorry about that, did not know anything about that whatsoever. So yeah, we've made it here to the Mount Gagazet the cave. Basically, just been doing a lot of exploring, doing a couple of trials every now and then, and making it up to this point. And as you can see, down below in the map, there's an arrow saying we need to go that way. But, it is buggy for some odd reason, and we're actually supposed to go this way in terms of story. So we're gonna be doing that. But before we do even that, you know what time it is. I skipped this last session, but now I gotta get back on this in this session. We gotta get ourselves leveled up for any upcoming fights. So let's get into this. Alright guys, here is the annotation for you for all of y'all. If you do not want to see what's going on over here, just want to see us part going through the rest of the cave, then just skip to this t point in time and you'll be good to, good to go. Ugh, cannot talk today. And uh, if you want to stick around and see what I do do, well, then just stay. And I just realized that I said, do, do. But, you know. Anyway, let's get into this, shall we? Okay. Starting off with myself. What can we get leveled up, it looks like? As far as I'm aware, all we've got is a power and a defense. Well, HP and defense, really. Power, we don't have strength right now. Not, not now. Then we can move over to here. Give ourselves a mana and strength increase. That'll be a helpful, very helpful indeed. And then that's all we can do for ourselves. And nothing too large. Riku, let's see. Ah, yes, I remember. We can either go all this way here, but I am OCD and I really want to grab that speed sphere. Otherwise, uh, it's going to kill me later. It just will. As for Ayuna, uh, the time has finally come, milady. You have learned... Well, hold on. You have learned... Kyoraga. The best healing move in the game. Well... That's half true. I know one that's even better, but we'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. Alright. Now use one of our speed spheres right over here. We can use a power sphere for up there. And we're actually getting close to Kabari's point. That's pretty awesome. And then, since we've got seven level one key spheres, I'm going to use this right here. We can move one right here. There's also defense increase. Uh, I'm not going to use any of those. Not gonna happen. Alright, there we go, there we go. And then just move back into place. And then later we'll come over to his place. Alright, so that takes care of that. Next up, Arin. The Bladed Hero. The legendary guardian of Spira. With his massive HP boost and speed like no other, he is definitely the ultimate character of this game. No questioning that. Alright, Kamari, speaking of you from earlier. Making oh wait, don't don't do that. No. Kamari, just move one over here so we can get a health boost. And actually, why didn't I get that last session? Huh. Or two sessions ago, that's a little odd. Yeah, oh well. Probably I'll figure it out eventually, but for now, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, 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 going. What do we go? Do we go up the grid? Spamming the evasion spears here. Alright, move up twice. Now we're getting close to ourselves. A newer ability. Which I'll show you as soon as I get this mana increase right here. With the level 2 sphere, or, well, that's half of it anyway. Or if you just go the long way around, you can eventually get full life. Remember this during the Seymour Flux fight? I bet. That's what we use on us when we got a zombified, and combine that with any kind of zombie attack, 
We're guaranteed to one-shot enemies, no questions asked, which I am really happy about. I really am really happy about that. Anywho, moving on. As yes, we can also use a little three sphere right here if we want to. But honestly, I think I think I want to save that for later. We've only got so many of them, and I don't want to waste anything. So instead, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, and actually, let me check this out real quick. If I can. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, right. Yeah, we've got two level four key spheres. Two more of those, and we can unlock the route to Ultima. Which is going to be really awesome. But for now, it's going to have to wait, unfortunately. Uh, quite unfortunately. But hey, we're getting close to getting... Uh, what was it? Double cast, so that'll be helpful. That'll be really awesome, won't it? Now using Return of Spears. Alright, Mana Sphere. Increase there. Increase our defense over there. And then one Speed Sphere for Agility. Agility! Oh, and of course an HP boost, because that's a mandatory thing by now. Finally, Walk Guy. I think this is the final guy, right? Uh, yeah, this should be it. Yes. Let's move up here, get ourselves some increase in mana and speed. Come on! Just spam it all! Spam it all! That's all you need to do. Now just move over here. One power sphere there. And one power sphere here. And then just move over one for the heck of it, because, you know, we can't do much anyway. But that should take care of that. Now for equipment. Let's see. Brotherhood. Yeah, decent. Armor. Yeah. yeah we, should, we should be good for now. What about our Aeons? Can we learn any new abilities? So you got all the extra extract abilities for later. There's reflex, scan, shell, reflect. Oh, actually, what do you need for reflect? Ah, star curtain. Wait, how'd I get that? Oh, right, right, right. So the star curtains you can get from the dark flan. I just remember that. I just remember that from uh, grinding today, or not grinding, but rather preparation. That's the right word. All right, so it's hard reflex, but all sorts of enemies. That would be awesome on our guys. Ooh, we can actually get these spells. Oh ho. Water gut for each of our Eidolans. I'm doing that. I'm, I'm definitely doing that. Let's go down the list. Come on. Water gut. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, alright, alright. Water gut. Let's teach it. Eat free to learn water gut. Volt, I'll teach you the exact same thing. Come on, 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 come on. Water guy, here we go. Boop, like so. Celsius. Come on. Why is this so slow? It doesn't make any sense. Alright, water guy there. Maxwell has it by default, so we don't have to worry about him. But then we can use the last one on our friend Eidolon. Because his spells suck A. No doubt about it. There we go, everyone's learned Marga. Faraga, no, no, no. No, not worth it. I'll save these for later. Maybe when I'm, uh, during post-game I can grab these stuff again and level up our, uh, Aeons. I was about to say Eidolons, but no, that's not the case. But yeah, that should do everything. And I've got my usual setup, Shadow Riku and Yuna for the quick, advantageous, uh, speed boost. You know how it is. You know how it is. Now we can just save them over here and not have to worry about that again. Oh, also, like last time, I have everyone with a maximum overdrive. All our Aeons have them. Just a little worry for you guys because you know what happens next. It's all session. Uh. Hey, what's the word? Session, uh. Tradition, that's it. Tradition. All session tradition, and I don't want to deal with this now. Escape, eh? You know what? Hold on, no. I'll steal from you. Because I can. And because I'm awesome. And then we flee. We flee! 
and I'll be the last fight we encounter in this area. For now, anyway. But now let's move on. It comes! Yep. You saw it coming, people. Look at this ugly beast. Well, now look at it. Got those tusks, got those wings, got a lot of everything. Alright guys, this here is the Sanctuary Keeper. A powerful enemy, not as powerful as Seymour Flux, but somewhat close. Oh, okay, this is actually interesting. Uh, a little different than usual. Uh, so what you want to do here, well, I guess in this situation, I can steal with Riku. That's one thing. Get Turbo Ether. Now at the beginning of this fight, summon your I, any one of your Aeons. Personally, I would start with Maxwell here, just because he has the most HP and has the best overdrive of all. Plus he can break the damage limit, so that's another thing. Yeah, just summon him out. If, you, if he has overdrive, use it immediately. If he has it, use it immediately. If he doesn't, then just defend, I guess. Yeah, you'll see why in a second. Anyway, Mega Flare, cut the cutscene, watch it break the damage limit. And then... There you go. There we go. And now it's using Photon Wings. This move in particular is very well known for causing the most status ailments. Talking Darkness, Curse, Silence. What was the other one? I know there was another one. Uh, Confusion. Even Sleep. If you... If you get hit by these, you're not... If you don't have... Yeah, listen. I'm trying to word this. If you get hit by this, your entire party gets hit by this, and Riku is not in place, use her... Switch to her. Use her mix technique to just spam a remedy. That's why I can recommend it, should that happen. As for now, we're just going to deal as much damage as we can. In fact, I'm going to inflict a Darkness Buster. See how well this is going to last. Slash for 1,000. But yeah, I saw that coming. Mana Breath. Another reason why you want to summon out your Aeons. That Mana Breath? Basically, one-shot KO. I've never or once survived it. I've always had to either use units to revive or have an Aeon take the blow. And that's essentially it. Now, when I'm up, or when you are up, depending on how you want to uh, look at it, I uh, immediately cast a Mental Break. This will ensure that more magic hits are way more powerful than before. And uh, if Riku didn't, didn't attack first to get that mug or steal off before the summoning, then you do it now, but we've already taken care of it, so I'm going to do a plan B. i going to switch over to Kamari and give him a little participation. And set away. Like so. Now switch out Yuna for Waka. Do a skill. Dark Buster. Make sure that you cannot hit both of us. Let's we'll see what you do. Alright, Tail Sweep, and then. This is two out of the three of us. Decent. Oh, and then cast Asuna. Okay, when I cast Asuna, that is your that is your warning shot. When that happens, get ready to switch. Hold on a sec. But first we're going to do a bio with ourselves, Lulu. Just make sure this guy is decreasing his HP. And then switch over to Yuna. And if you have her out already, make sure to do this. Do another summon. Now this isn't always guaranteed, but I've noticed that every time, every single time that it uses Asuna, the next turn or two, it uses Photon Wings again. Hence why I'm switching over to our Eidolon for this attack. And of course, just rinse and repeat the procedure. There are times when he'll use, say, Kiraga, Regen, Protection, you know, stuff like that. Okay, here he used Asuna, but yeah, there he goes. Photon Wings, like I said. Other times he can use Protection, he can use, do a Regen. Next times he'll heal himself with Kiraga. Or other times he just does that. And... Ironically enough, this is the one time that he actually hits Eidolon with that. Most of the time, Eidolon would miss, or would dodge, but no, not the case here. Not the case. Alright, but now that's taken care of. Gonna switch over to Auron here. 
Get some participation. Look how much HP these guys have got left. And one shot from Bushido Shooting Star should take care of more than half of its HP. Just got it mashed it quick. 250. Wow, we got unlucky. Um, okay. Well, then plan B. We just keep at it. Come on. Dark Buster away. And I guarantee you he's gonna use Mana Breath next. I bet. It. I betcha. Nope, it just attacks. Which I am completely fine with. But I am gonna do this. No, not that. Uh, Bayou. So if it does use Mana Breath, it'll take some backfire recoil damage from that as well. A little bonus point. Yep, but here it is, Mana Breath. Boom. One shot KO even on Auron. Let that be a sign of things to come. Alright. Next up, Uni. You know what you do best. Come on, no, not reflect. Not that. Life. Rally the souls to grant us life, resurrection, all the way. Now there goes Asuna again. Alright. He might be able to get this off before he can even do an attack, so let's try something. Uh, not that. Special. I guess I'll heal Orin while we're at it. He is pretty low anyway. Might as well. Cura away. Alright, let's try this out. He has 7,000 HP. Yeah, pretty decent. Let's go for a Fury attack. Go awesome Thundaga. Get rid of its wings. Just spin that in a long three, four, five. Ah, oh, I could've gone a sixth one. Ooh, ooh! 1,000 per hit, I was not expecting that, but I like that. I like that a lot. Ow. How dare you, sir. I slash your face in. And just barely, too. But there he goes. Falling down, he's been defeated. Uh, he's in shock of what just happened, and I don't blame him. Taking him out so easily without any worry, that's uh, pretty unique. Pretty unique. Just a little. No need. I gotta turn off the volume. Reach the summit soon. I know. That's why I want to stop for a bit. Soon means that there's not much time left. Riku. Fine. I'll think on the way. <laughs> <laughs> 